Hi guys, I'm here today with a video in an open collab with Susan Hiles Art and she is making um, clusters for the next few weeks. She put out a video last week um, explaining it and I will link that video down below. It sounds like a really fun collab. It's open to anybody. Um, all you gotta do is just make some clusters and she gives optional prompts and this week's prompt is tiny, tiny clusters. So you have to use the hashtag crafty clusters and that way she'll be able to find you. So I just grabbed a bunch of stuff to use and the focal point of my of my clusters, my tiny clusters are going to be postage stamps. These are actual canceled stamps from um from an envelope and these are ones that I made myself and there will be a video on these coming up at some point. And then I just got some I have this container. It's got scrap cutoffs of different papers and fabrics and stuff in it. So I might use some of that. And I have some of this. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a mesh, like a red decorative mesh type thing. And I have some, some um, ribbon and some more ribbon and some uh, rickrack, skinny, skinny, skinny rickrack and then the regular fat rickrack. And I have some blue burlap. And over here is my paper pile, my scrap paper pile that I chose for these. They're just strips of paper. Oh, there's some fabric in there too, but I'm not going to be using the fabric. And there's some tickets, tickets. And then I have some pink glitter tool. And then I have some regular blue tool. I don't even know how well you can see that in the camera, but it's there, I promise. And I'm going to be just stapling them together with like a one staple collage. And speaking of that, I have a one staple collage video. I actually forgot to bring them over, but I'm going to go grab them. So hold on. Okay, I found them. I do have a video on how I made these. They're just one staple collages. And it's got a, uh, a focal point and just some... Random stuff, and the bases of these were mostly made with the with this with the thing that came around the rick rack and stuff. So I, I used those, and I have this one, and this one actually has a pop tab on it. These were a lot of fun to make. I loved making clusters. Here's a, a base, and there's another one. See, these are not mini clusters; they're a little bit bigger. But they're a lot of fun to make. I do have a video on it if you want to go check it out. It's called One Staple Collage. So let's get started making some mini clusters. And I think I'm just going to start with... Um, I'll start with a little piece of burlap as the base. I'll do like this size. We'll make, it, we'll make them this size. So we'll do that. And then I'll use some pink tool as well this is glitter tool it's really cool looking and I might as well use some of the mesh I was storing my mesh in with my tool and that was not a good idea they stuck together and I had to get rid of a lot of both of them because I could not get them apart without like ripping them so if you have decorative mesh and tool don't store them together it will not end well okay so I got these put those right there put that right there put this tool on top of there so there's a good little base for these two clusters. And how about a purple? We'll do a purple strip on these ones. Make that stick out a little bit. Make this one stick out a little bit as well. And 
Should I add anything else? Maybe some of this. I like this. It's uh, origami paper. I have this left over from a glue book page that I did. So I think I'll add a little bit of those and then I'll add the stamp and that will be it. I'll add one of my stamps to this one and then a normal stamp to that one. My cat is meowing in the background, sorry about that. Don't know what her problem is. So just make sure you get everything in the staple and sometimes I don't, but there's one staple and two staples. There, I think I got everything. Yeah, so there's one mini cluster, very cool. And two mini clusters, let's make some more. Let's use something in here as a base this time. Let's see what I got. I got some ribbon already cut out. Um, how about a piece of book page? We use a book page base for these, and I like the ribbon, so I'll add some ribbon. And there's some lace, some, uh, yeah, some lace. So those are good for that. Ooh, I have one piece of brown burlap. I don't know where my brown burlap is. It's it's somewhere. I didn't actually look for it. I just don't exactly know where it's at. Off the top of my head. So, I think that will be it for this box. Yeah. Um, I'll use a little piece of this shirt. Since I don't have the burlap. So we'll get those out. Okay. And then I'm going to add some brick rack to these. So we'll put. Oh, that's upside down. I'm actually going to cut this. I don't like that extra white space on there. So there's that. And then this. And then this lace. And this ribbon. And I'm going to use some of this red rig rack. If I can get it. Undone. There we go. Maybe. Yep. Okay. And another piece of rick rack for the other one. Maybe I'll put that behind. I'll put that in the background back here. So that way it kind of peeks out. And then same with this one. Put this on the background this way. And then put these back. And how about we use some of this. This was a scrap sent to me from Linda at Linda's Mixed Up Mess when we did our 4th of July um, swaps. This was a scrap from when she made the envelopes that we swapped. Is that enough? I think that's enough. And we'll use my pink butterfly for this one. And on this one, we'll use Patsy Klein stamp. Perfect. So definitely got to make sure I get that Rick Rack in there in the staple, along with everything else. I think I got it. Yep. That's an easy way to tell if you got it. Just hold it up by one piece like one of your pieces of fabric and um, if it if everything stays intact then you're good and just see just like that just shake it and if anything falls off then obviously you missed that and you can restaple it or just leave it without it so I like those I love making clusters they're so much fun 
Hi, Etni. Since you want to say hi to everyone. Come here. I'm going to try to get her on my lap. There, she's on my lap now. I wonder if I can get her in the video. Here's that knee. My black and white kitty. She's 16. She's old. So I got to get her off my lap now. But I just wanted to show her because she makes an appearance vocally in most of my videos. Um, I colored my staples with Sharpies, so I don't know how well you can actually tell, but this, this staple is actually orange. I just used an orange Sharpie and colored it. And I have some purple and blue staples in here too. So you don't have to buy color staples, all you need is a Sharpie and you can color them yourself. So let's make one more set. And I think... I think I actually will use this fabric as the base. I like this green. I don't normally like green. But today I guess I do. So these will be a little bit smaller bases. And how about we use a little bit of orange ribbon. Green and orange, you know, that they go really well together. But orange is my favorite color. And how about... I do like this blue rickrack. The blue rickrack will will kind of bring the colors together because orange and blue are um, complementary colors and blue and green just go well together. So there's those. Ooh, let's put a ticket on these. Yeah. We'll put a blue ticket on this one and then we'll put one of my homemade tickets on this one. Yeah, I made these out of, um, like a map scrapbook paper. It's like a, like a treasure map scrapbook paper. It's the tickets, tickets are very easy to make yourself as well. I think I have a video on that, but I can't remember actually. And then we'll use another, how about we use this pink? I can just cut this in half. We can put the pink right across. Actually, I think I want the ticket to be the last part of the, um, bef right before I put the butterfly on. So we'll save the ticket. What else do these need? Hmm. I have this, um, ooh, over here. I have this purple lace that I got from the Goodwill. It was just in one of those, like, random bags of stuff that you grab. Um, and I don't like purple. So I'm trying to use this up. So I think that'll, that will help use it up. And then, is that it? I think that's it. And we'll put the ticket back on. Put the ticket over here. And then we'll use this green butterfly. I think I'll put the ticket a little bit down here and then put the stamp right there. My cats are fighting now. And we'll use this love stamp right there. Okay, let's see if I can get all this stuff together. We are going to find out. Kind of have to put the staple right in the middle of the butterfly, but that's okay. Everything's good. Nothing's falling out. And now this, this one's turn. This one seems to be a little bit easier with how I positioned the um, stamp, but we'll see. I don't know if I'm getting that in there and perfect so there they are my sets of mini clusters one staple collages or clusters whatever you want to call them this was part of 
Susan Hiles Art Crafty Clusters collab, which is, like I said, open to anyone. All you gotta do is, you don't even have to make video. Um, you, if you wanna even post it on Instagram or whatever, just use the hashtag Crafty Clusters and she'll be able to find you by searching that hashtag. So I hope that you will join in, it's a lot of fun. Um, you don't have to use the prompts, but if you do, this week's prompt is mini clusters. So these are as mini as they come. For me, this is what I consider a mini cluster. A mini cluster to you might be something that is literally just this small. But as you saw my, um, these clusters, they're much, they're very mini compared to it. Even the longest part of my mini cluster is not as big as this big cluster. So that's mini to me. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and I would love to see you join along as well. Go over to Susan Heil Art's channel and I will post it below. I'll post her actual uh, collage collab video below. So please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.